We are at this essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome, viewer. Welcome to the third week of July 2024. And in this video, we are covering uh, from the 15th to the 21st of July. 21st, of course, is your full moon, also known as the Buck Moon or the Thunder Moon. Uh, it's called the Thunder Moon, of course, because of the summer storms. And uh, in some cultures, Buck Moon on the 21st of July is when the male deer or the buck as the male deer is called, sheds its antlers, right? All right, so the central theme is uh, going to be these three cards I've pulled out. You have the two of keys, the treasure. You have the third eye chakra that connects with divine guidance and fixed moon, which says, hold your vision. Let's do uh, the treasure first. So, uh, well, there are a lot of meanings of this particular card, but the one that uh, makes the best interpretation into this week, 15th to 21st, is that you have something and uh, which, is, which you treasure, right? It could be like a physical treasure or it could be a relationship, but it is something that is of importance to you. And uh, you can, you, you feel like you've lost it you feel like you're, you may be losing it. And that kind of a negative vibe can actually cause you to lose it. Now remember, it's as of now in your mind, uh, what you need to do is switch your vibe. And if you cannot do it yourself, you need to have a spell done. So please have a vibe switch spell done. Get in touch with us and let me see if I can fit you in. Remember, this is a card, a sort of a semi premonition of white, of of what might happen and also this is a general prediction so it's not necessary that it's gonna it's something that is that you are going through if you want to have a customized uh, tarot reading done you know how to get in touch with us all right the third eye chakra you all know where that is it's also called the ajna the third eye chakra connects you with divine guidance so you need to harmonize your third eye chakra you need to establish a connection with whichever deity you believe in and you need to receive divine guidance. Remember, when we are talking about divine guidance, we are also talking about you listening to your gut, your inner voice. You need to shut out all the white noise from the outsides. And you need to listen to your inner voice. How are you feeling? What's happening? Are you all right? Are you restless? Is there something wrong or lacking in your life? Figure it out and fix it. Hold your vision. What a profound card. This is a self-explanatory card which says you have a goal, you have a vision, you plan to work towards it, now hang on tight and start that work. Don't doubt yourself and if you do question those doubts, if they are something that need to be addressed, then address it, be done with it and get the job done. All right? Okay, so let's move on to the general theme. Remember the four stacks that we have. You have the general theme, then we'll do the health deck, the wealth deck, and the relationship deck. Let's do the general theme. Uh, viewer, for the, from the 15th to the 21st of July, you've pulled out the fairy wind, or as we know it better, uh, the chariot card of the rider weight deck, the 10 of coins or the 10 of pentacles, the five of swords, and the seven of swords. Interesting. So in general, there will be... Um, double-edged situations in which you'll have pros and cons but the chariot card is here to say that you could be a cancerian or dealing with one this card also means that if you want to see forward progressive movement in your life you need to balance the masculine and the feminine the yin and the yang the active and the passive energies in your life which means work when you have to rest when you have to balance these energies out and you are sure to see forward movement Ten of coins, ten of pentacles, we use this a lot in spell casting. This card means that you seem to have a very strong money energy in and around you. This is what the universe is seeing you as. Whatever it is you're doing, continue doing it. But if you don't feel like you are matching the energy of this card, get in touch with us and let's see how we can help you best. Five of swords, this is a card uh, which has two meanings. The first one is what we call hollow victory, which means you were walking a path and uh, you had a lot of people who were bucking you up, who were encouraging you. You reached the point, your destination, and you won. 
but you feel hollow you don't feel as happy as you used to because the crowd that was cheering you up seems to have thinned down having said that remind yourself that a victory is a victory all the same enjoy it and also figure out why is it that the crowd is thinned down it could be that you have changed in the process it could be that the crowd has changed in the process if it does matter to you then please address it and fix it another meaning of this card is that someone might offend you humiliate you say something to poke you or uh, upset you um, this could be online or offline of course and i would advise that you don't strike with the same sword so don't uh, give it back in the same coin like they say a lot of people do it instinctively this card is telling you not to react what you can do is perhaps speak to this person and let them know that this did not go well did this did not go down well with you so if you make your point heard but don't react it's a beautiful lesson to learn teach yourself that okay the seven of swords interesting card this means either you're deceiving someone in a particular situation in your life or somebody is deceiving you this card also means that in a situation where you have been working in a particular fashion you need to now change your strategy right remember the only constant in life is change so now we are done with the general deck let's move on to the health deck what do we have from 15 to 21st of july 21st being the full moon you've got the knight of coins or the knight of pentacles you have the five of wands aha the page of wands i am seeing a lot of anxiety a lot of tension a lot of restlessness and of course overwork and exertion okay so um there is a you are going to get a money offer or you will be offering somebody money which means either you will be trying to invest in a business or invest in something maybe buying or selling something or um uh, it's going to be the other way around you will be given the money offer you will be given um the investment that you require for your particular business right or uh, somebody will give you a price for something that you put on sale this is making you anxious take a few deep breaths try and see if you can cool it off because you are um you're getting anxious you're getting tensed when is it going to happen why is there so much why is it taking so much of time what if the deal doesn't go through what if i don't get that job you know so what you're doing is you are injecting this this tense atmosphere and it's causing these ripples so your frequency which is otherwise supposed to be cool calm and collected so the universe can actually give you what is supposed to come towards you you're crazy creating this crazy ripple effect so it's becoming a little confusing as if you doubt the process if you doubt the process the speed is going to slow down and guess who will be at a loss you don't damage your health don't damage your mind body and spirit go for a walk listen to some music chill out like they say and meditate to stay calm five of wands looks like you've taken a path and not everybody is okay with this path that you've taken this seems to be bothering you you feel disappointed another low vibration this is a low vibrational frequency disappointment you're disappointed that others are not on on the same page as you are they don't understand where you're coming from why you took the stand and uh, tell yourself that if as long as it's not harming anyone and if you think this is the best best path to walk on then please go ahead and walk the right people will support you the rest don't matter and your health health what's your health don't stress out don't get angry don't get upset don't get disappointed they are all low vibes okay page of wands so you are going to be receiving a creative message or giving out one there will be somebody in your family or your known circle um in which a young girl will be achieving some an award or a letter of appreciation perhaps even a certificate but it will be something joyful um maybe a scholarship enjoy this this is the best card that you have in terms of health enjoy it celebrate it it's a good vibe and when you show happiness um in someone else's life a little bit of that luck comes to you as well and by the looks of it you sure need it ten of spells or ten of wands looks like you have been over exerting yourself you're burning the midnight lamp so to speak the midnight oil 
there is a level of uh, stress in your life right now because you need to get the job done perhaps as a target or an aim or a timeline that you need to meet and achieving that has become your one goal so you've left everything and you're constantly working day in and day out although you see where this is going and you are happy with your progress you're still beating yourself up because you think that you, it isn't you know there might be a slip there might be a mistake maybe you need to double it double check mentally you're going to exhaust yourself you're going to burn out you'll probably have a breakdown again learn to take a step back learn to take a break balance out when you need to rest when you need to recover when you need to get back if you have a good night's rest you'll be able to put in more energy in the morning in your work right so that was your health stack let's look at the wealth stack 15th to 21st you pulled out the six of wounds or the six of coins or the six of pentacles the nine of pentacles or the nine of coins the ace of cups is here and the judgment card look at this so in terms of wealth you've pulled out the six of coins which means um well either you're a liberal or dealing with one this card also means that uh, someone will be taking something from you which is measured in terms of monies so this could be money itself um, maybe your vehicle a luxury uh, item like your mobile or uh, an expensive jewelry piece an expensive watch but whatever is being taken from you will not be given back in the same coin there will be a certain amount of depreciation and it is going to put a strain in the relationship between you and that person learn to say no number one if you can't say no please have it written in writing and ensure that the person takes full responsibility in case the person doesn't return it back in one piece okay nine of coins nine of pentacles looks like you are emanating a very good money energy opulence and grandeur is yours for the taking you feel like buying luxury items now um, you're getting heavily attracted to it that's for sure you want to buy that expensive thing that you've had your eye on for quite some time having said that people are going to be attracted to you um, who are uh, who are going to pull out a lot of your um, money energy right now right and that's not what we call golden energy that's not very good because you'll feel drained out by the end of the day learn to keep some for yourself and learn to step back and say listen i need to take a break i mean i'm a little exhausted just learn to gently push back people who are who are taking over your space because you need that space to recover right so watch out for this card ace of cups we use this a lot in spell casting this card means that uh, well uh, you seem to have unconditional love in your life and uh, somehow this is affecting your money so it could be that you are uh, gifting or accepting gifts from people and you might be going a little overboard because you feel like the bigger the gift the more you can show affection to the person or maybe that's what you expect in return don't do that because uh, well the, if a person feels that the bigger the gift uh the the better the relationship with the person many good relationships will go uh down the drain right it is better to have an understanding where blue magic is respected money magic is respected and the pocket um should be also respected you, you know you don't use money as a barter or an exchange of affection emotions are separate and money is separate so logic is money and emotions are feelings don't combine them the judgment card here says that there is a karmic issue because of which there seems to be some stuck work in your life so there could be some business or work related issues or you are not receiving what it is that you are supposed to receive in terms of say your promotion business investment buy sell anything to do with the finances of your life and that's happening because there's a karmic blockage have the baggage released and be done with it all right that finishes your wealth stack from 15 to 21st now let's see what do we have for relationships you've pulled out the chariot card you've pulled out the four of cups the king of cups and the seeker of visions the chariot card tells me you could be a cancerian or dealing with one this card also means that uh, in your relationship you need to balance 
the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine energies within you. And you will definitely see forward progressive movement. So what this means in terms of relationships is that you need to be able to differentiate when you are supposed to be a good listener, when you are supposed to give advice, when you are supposed to take over the chariot and move it forward and when you should be a passenger. So be wise, be calm and there is no need to, uh, you know, play games like play, like they say, blowing hot and cold, teaching a lesson, being judgmental, being opinionated, talking behind somebody's back, avoid all that. Everyone wants a clean relationship. Try and see if you can do that. Four of Cups tells me that uh, you're disappointed in your relationship. The one that in, in one of your relationships, you're disappointed uh, because you want, you were expecting something much more than what you're getting. I think it's better that you talk it out because in every relationship, every single relationship in your life, if you can't talk it out and there's a communication gap, it means only two things. Number one, you need to move away and or number two, your throat chakra is blocked. And if that is so, have your chakra balance done and let's see if that works. Communication is key. Don't be disappointed. It's a low vibe and that's just going to create a big pocket of, you know, low vibe things coming towards you. You don't want to... You don't want to give yourself that. King of Cups tells me it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or dealing with one. This card also tells me that uh, you're holding on too tightly to a particular relationship of yours and uh, that's, making you, that's making you feel very restless inside and uh, the whole, and the people who are watching you, they feel like you're acting like a frustrated and desperate person and that's not how you want to define yourself. You need to let go of this this feeling that you have you will and don't think that you know i'll lose the person if i don't hold on tightly this could cause a this could cause a claustrophobic environment a space issue and that could be the reason of the breakup or the person moving away so don't do that all right seeker of vision so this is a card um that says that uh, well there might be a proposal an emotional proposal that will be either given to you or you will be giving it out Either which ways, not only is this the last card, but it is also a card that says that uh, ensure that it is uh, it's a it's a proposal that moves things forward, okay, not backward. All right, that's all I have for you. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Until then, love, light, and knowledge to you all. Be at his S A N Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.